Yo, what's good, YouTube? I know it's been a minute. I haven't made a video. I've just been working a lot, been busy, you know, just how life is. But today, we got something special for y'all. We got charge pipes. Not for the 2.0, but the 1.5T. Yes, sir. These are the HPS. I think these are the... Fuck. The HPS. I think it's only the front side uh, charge pipes. But... It's for the 1.5T though. And that, shit, and that shit is hard to come by. What's it called? And we got this too. But that's for another video. So y'all don't gotta worry about that right now. But yeah, so I'm about to install these charge pipes and see the difference. Since I'm in Cali, this shit filmed in Mexico though. But since I'm in Cali, uh, you can't can't get these orders to ordered to Cali. So I just bought him used, awesome fool. But yeah, so I'm about to install them right now, show you guys the process and show you guys the results after. So peace. First step is to remove the clip. My shit fucking fell through. I've never been able to find it. <laughs> and then you gotta unplug the sensor. And then you gotta disconnect this. So let me get my eye sockets and I'll be back. So we get this. You don't gotta take it completely off, but. <clears throat> this comes off just like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this clip out. Make sure it doesn't annoy me. So we gotta remove the air filter. Might as well clean it a little bit. Okay, that's good. And then. Loosen them, loosen them up and take them out by hand so you don't drop them out. And then this one too. Oh shit. Okay. Boom. And then just like that. Next step is to unplug these two little sensors. My big ass hand. Oh. Okay, and then you gotta get some pliers. That right there. And then get a, hold up. This one you gotta like wiggle it back and forth to get it up like that. Okay. Boom. You got that done. You gotta come right here and then you gotta loosen up the bracket that's holding the charge pipe. So it's this one. And this one, if I'm not mistaken. So let me do this off camera and show you guys after. All right, guys. Make sure you guys take this, the breather hose off. This shit right here it took me like fucking at least 10 minutes to get out. It was so fucking hard to get out. And I got a tip for y'all. So the thing I used was I got this little pick. And what I did was basically just put it under the the what's it called the hose just to you know loosen it because sometimes the heat can bond the rubber the plastic and shit so yeah after i did that it was a breeze but yeah bro make sure you take this one out too you gotta remove these two like i said and this one back here too so if you get that one out it does look like you have to take this screw out that one right there too so I'm about to do that right now and take this whole charge pipe out, this thing right here. So 
Let's see if we can do it one for you. Make sure before you install the charge pipes, make sure your engine cools down too. Right there, this one. That's the OEM clamp. So it's a it's an eight, and you just go to unloosen that. Yeah. And loosen that clamp. It should just slide right out. Take this hose off too. Don't forget. So I'll loosen this up. This is a 10. the charge pipe out you gotta transfer the oem sensors right here to the to the charge pipe ones so i'm about to do that right now and show you guys what it looks like after after you finish transferring the oem sensors to the new one this is what it should look like what you gotta do is install the reducer to the oem pipe right there so i'm about to do that right now after you installed it hold on let me find that shit after you install it you gotta re-tighten this clamp but what's it called? I couldn't get it with the socket, so I just use a, a flathead and I just put it right there and I tightened it up. So you can see it right there. So now the next step is to put in the charge pipe to the the reducer. And yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like after. In the video that I'm watching, it says that you don't need to. Oh, fuck, let me see if I can show you guys. So I already clamped the the reducer to the OEM pipe and this part right here, the charge pipe to the reducer didn't come with the clamp. But I don't want any boost leaks though, so I'm gonna just clamp it just to be safe, you know? Better safe than sorry. Let's see, I'm sure you can yeah, I'm sure you guys can see it right here from this angle. Let's see, I'm about to clamp the shit back on and show you guys afterwards. I almost done guys, sorry. The next step is to connect the second part of the charge pipe it goes right there so yeah i'm about to put it on and show you guys afterwards so a quick tip for you guys when you're installing the second piece try to put it in uh facing downwards first and then after you can just flip it up but i gotta loosen this one up and already do that all right and once everything's looking good you can tighten all the hose clamps back on after you tighten all your clamps you gotta reconnect your sensors back so let me put this bracket back on. Yeah, let me put that back on. Actually guys, <laughs> don't remove, I think you actually might have to remove this one to take off the charge pipe, but when you're done, put this one back on. So I'm about to do that right now. All right y'all, so after you tighten the clamps, what you gotta do is put, plug the sensors back in, the breather hose and this bracket, and that's it, man, you're all good to go. So yeah, after, you gotta put everything back on and on the HPS website, they say to leave the car running for about like three minutes, just to see if you know you hear anything wrong. And you, if you can hear any boost leaks, you feel me? So yeah, man, this is it. The HPS charge pipe on a 1.5T, y'all. Uh, she looking good. It's a little it's a little dusty right now. Not, not even gonna lie, but I could, I could clean it up later. So yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll put some sound clips, you know, and I'll give you guys a review at the end. So yeah, 
let me plug everything back in and see how she's running. All right, what's up guys? We just finished the install. Wasn't too easy. I gave it a two out of five stars. Took about like hour, hour and a half. Wasn't too hard. Only thing that was a bitch was this be the hose, but I'm sure your guys' just will be easier to come off. So yo man, here how, here's how she looks in the engine bay. Yeah, I'm about to get a sound clip for y'all and show you guys the results. Here's the old charge pipe. It's like super cheap plastic. I'm not even gonna lie. What is this? That's super cheap. And yeah, so. And she starts, y'all. She starts. I got scared for a second because I didn't have my keys with me. <laughs> I thought I fucked some shit up. But yeah, so they said to let it run for about three minutes. And then the test drive it. So I'm not hearing any boost leaks. Which is good. So yeah, let's see. In about three minutes, I'm, I'm about to give it a test drive. All right, what's up guys? So we ran into a little problem here. So I was test driving it and I had a boost leak. And I found out that the, the coupler to the OEM pipe I didn't tighten the fasteners all the way, but now it's all good. No boost leak. Now she low key, she pulls a little bit harder since this this only gives you like six to six six horsepower and six torque. So, but yeah, so that concludes the video. Overall, the HPS charge probably it was, in my opinion, it was worth it. The install wasn't too bad, it was pretty easy. And yeah, I could definitely feel a difference with the charge pipe, just a little bit though. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.